Welcome back, internet people. My name is Ryan, and today we are playing Oblivion. We are being sent far to the west in order to kill a man. Oh, they were lying when they said far to the west. That is in the middle of nowhere. There appears to actually be a road that leads to Fort Such. Which is very convenient for me because I tend to get lost in the wilderness all the time. Is that Fort Such there? No, that's a plantation or something. Lord Drad's estate. Hmm. That looks a bit more like a fort. Ooh, there's something going on over there. Something fighting something else. I am not involved though, and I do not care to be. This fort looks like a bomb went off in it. How do I get in? on my cowl. Okay. This place is large. Is the medicine sustaining Roderick's life? or just postponing his death. How can he survive for so long with a fever so high? Roderick's fever is in check, unlike your tongue. How can you think such things after all he's done for us? For you, have a little faith. Faith? Are you telling me we're supposed to rely on the good graces of the divines to keep Roderick alive? Even he would laugh at such nonsense. Then what would you propose? What more can we do? That medicine is keeping Roderick alive. For now, that's the best we can hope for. I know, Nisha. And I meant no disrespect. It's just that I hate waiting around like this, watching him suffer. As do we all, dear friend. Do not fear. I have been assured that the medicine will restore our Roderick to full health. But it will take some time. And let us trust a bit less to faith, and a bit more to our own strength. I shall guard the medicine cabinet myself, just in case. Oh my god. Did you hear him? He said he'll guard the medicine cabinet himself. He's probably gonna go to it now. Shit, 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 okay. How do I get up there? I must have to go this way. This is not looking very good for me. Where is it? Oh god, where is the stuff? Poison. Get 
out of here? How do I get out of here? I appear to be trapped. Okay, then. Um... Okay, thank goodness. Alrighty. Ojiva. Where have you gone? I oh. am honored by your presence. I was just hanging How around by these walls assistance? here. Ah, so you infiltrated Fort Such, remained undetected, and replaced the medicine with the poison I provided. You are truly a master of shadow. You betcha I It am. pleases me greatly to offer you this reward and a well-earned bonus. Go now, rest. I'll have another contract ready whenever you are. Okay. What did you get me? A shittier version of a thing that I already have. That's wonderful. I would like to murder another person, please, if, if you're done with that barrel. So, are you ready to mingle with the doomed house guests? The contract is waiting. What, what contract? Do you like parties? Of course. Because you've been invited to one. Of course, you'll be killing all the other guests. Oh, of course. Are you ready to attend? Yes, I'm ready. Tell me more. Splendid. You need to go to the city of Skingrad, to the large house known as Summit Mist Manor. There, you will meet up with five very unlucky guests. In order to receive your bonus, you must kill each guest secretly, one by one. If anyone sees you committing murder, the bonus is forfeit. The guests believe there is a chest of gold hidden in the house and have agreed to be locked inside until one of them finds it. In fact, the guests believe the key to the manor is inside the chest and only by satisfying their greed will they be allowed to leave. Poor fools. There is, of course, no chest of gold. The guests will find no key. After you arrive, the doors will be locked behind you, as everyone expects. When all the guests lie dead, you will be free to leave. Now go. See the doorman at Summit Miss Manor. He will explain the rest. Have fun. Oh, I'm sure I will. It's a lovely night to murder everyone in a... In a house. So the last guest finally arrives. I'll tell you what I told all the others. You go in, I lock the door. You don't come out until it's over. Now I'll tell you what I didn't tell everyone else. We have the same mother, you and I. And she wants you to have this. It's the key to the house. <laughs> I guess someone else has already told you the other details. Kill all the guests, then leave, right? Well, you better get in there. Time to mingle. Wonderful. Go, go, socialize. Talk to those fine people. And then plunge your knife into their throats when they ain't looking. <laughs> <laughs> the sixth guest has finally arrived. Well, it's about time. Do you know how long we've been waiting? It seems like an age. Whoever invited us here must at least know us, don't you think? In any event, we're all stuck here together, so we might as well get acquainted. The rest of us have already traded introductions. I'm Matilda Petit. The others are Nels the Naughty, Neville, Devizi Dran, and Primo Antonius. You sound like wonderful Now, things. who might you be? Please, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well then, my baby is sick and we are so poor. Oh, you poor dear. Well, this does make things difficult for me. I want to find the gold as much as anyone, but you need it so much more than I do. Hmm, yes. Hmm? Oh. So here. Perhaps I should take this off. We'll just change in front of everybody. I swear that. Take off that hood. Right. Maybe we'll speak so again later. Nice house. Absolutely. 
Hello, primo. I can't quite decide where I should look. I don't want to break anything, but the chest of gold could be hidden anywhere. So, you finally showed up. It's about time. People of my station are not accustomed to waiting. Mm. How are you, primo? It's a regal name from a rather regal family. Indeed, my father owns more property than the East Empire Company. <laughs> Wonderful. What do you know about that, uh, everybody else, I suppose? She's quite beautiful, isn't she? A little young, perhaps, and not exactly highborn, but she possesses a unique elegance. That's All right. weird of you to say. It's very weird of you to say. You Ugh. Very no, odd. No, not funny. Hmm. Can I be honest with you, my friend? I find Dovisi captivating. She possesses a beauty beyond compare. Maybe you could do me a favor. If you speak with her, put in a good word for me, would you? I would be forever in your debt. Absolutely. All right then, Dovisi. I guess I'd bet. Hello, I'm Dovisi. I'm very pleased to meet you. Now that you're here, we can really start looking for that chest of gold. What I mean to say is, before you arrived, we all just sort of glanced around a bit. Now that we're all officially here, we can look in earnest. Yes. I want to talk to you about yes. Primo. It's pretty obvious that Primo comes from a wealthy family. He would never be interested in a girl like me, I'm afraid. <laughs> Not true. He told me he likes you. He? He did? Oh my goodness, what should I do? Should I talk to him? Or maybe play hard to get? Or should I, you know... Or would that be too forward? Go to his room. Wait for oh, him there. Oh, you think so? I mean... It is rather forward, but I like it. All right, then. I'll wait for him in his room upstairs. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh. This might make things complicated. <laughs> well, then, two down. So why do I have to kill each of them? With the others not seeing, like, why is that a problem? I suppose it doesn't really matter, but... <laughs> Neville's chest? Legion! Oh, oh dear, oh dear. Ah, uh, that might be a problem for me down the road. There are only two left. This house is a death trap. We're being killed off, one by one. Dear friend, three of the guests have been killed. You and I, we must stay close, band together for mutual protection. Absolutely. Oh, God. What do you know about Nels the Nagi? I was right about him. He's been doing it. He's the killer. My friend, you and I have to end this. We must kill Nels before he kills us. <laughs> you just punched him? And he died? That's awful. It's... it's finally over. <laughs> Wonderful. Well then, that was... that was rather quick and easy. I think we'll make that an episode in Thanks for watching.